Well, you know, if you have a pickup truck that has a diesel engine in it, and if it's newer than 2010 or so, when SCR became mandatory, which requires the use of DEF fluid, then you know that you periodically have to put some DEF fluid in your vehicle. And the DEF generally has a certain shelf life if stored under the right conditions, namely if it's in uh, lower temperatures, then it has a shelf life of up to two years. This is a two and a half gallon jug. This is a one gallon jug of Peak brand Blue DEF. And it's one of the more popular ones on the market and it's one that you'll have to find everywhere at retail stores. You also want to check the shelf life because you don't want to buy stuff that's been sitting around forever. Well, I thought when I bought the first stuff, I would go to an auto parts store and maybe get some stuff that was fresher. Well, that was the wrong thing to do because I bought this at the auto parts store last summer. And I had two gallons and I ended up using one and not the other. And I figured out how to look at the date code and found out this stuff had been sitting on the shelf for two years before I even bought it. You should always check the date code when you buy this stuff. So how do you do that? Well, this certainly is a case of the Peak Blue DF, and it's also the case of most of them. You'll find a code on the back, and you'll see this code is CP18324, then 65311. The first two digits are the manufacturing plant code. This is blended at plant CP, and 18 is basically, they always say subtract a year to find the manufacturing date. But I also like to say this is the date when it should disappear on the shelf. So this means 2018. So that's a year from now. So the actual manufacturing date was 2017. And then 324 is a reverse Julian date. Now a Julian date, you know, is uh, date number one is January 1st, date number two is January 2nd and so on. Well, this is how many days uh, left in the year. So you'd have to take 365, or in the course of a leap year, 366, and subtract 324. That means this was made on the 41st day of 2017. So 31 days in January, that means this was made on February 10th. So this stuff was pretty fresh. And these last codes, this is just a batch number, so you can disregard that. The only one you really need to look at is this 18324. And so I bought this at a big box store, you know, where maybe the Wahlbergs might shop. This one I bought at an auto parts store, and you'll see this is PB15313. Again, after the 313, that's all, that's all a batch code. PB, again, is the manufacturing blending plant. So 15313 is the date code. So 15 means that it was made in 2014. 313 means there are 313 days left, so that would have been somewhere in February of 2014 this was blended. I bought it in September 2016, so it was on the shelf for two and a half years. And it's over three years old now, it's almost three and a half years old. So there's no way I'm going to put this in my truck. You really need to look at the date code of these DEF batches before you buy them, because you might be spending eight, ten bucks on something that, you know, this has been sitting around forever. The other hint is, I suppose, um, <laughs> if you see dust on the cap, it's probably been there a while. This is a refractometer, and this does DEF. I'm going to take first a bit of the good stuff in the square box, just plaster it on here, and we're looking at about 30, yeah, just about 32%. So that's about what it should be. So now let's take some stuff from this old bottle. And I'm going to rinse it out a couple times just to make sure that I'm not contaminating it with the good stuff. Okay, and then I'll just lay a little strip on there. And now look. And this looks about a little bit down. I mean, it's just almost at 32. In reality, the concentrate has not changed any. Whether or not there are other parameters, I can't tell you. So I don't know how scientific of a test this is on whether or not this stuff is good or not. You know, you could probably use this stuff, but I'm not gonna because, you know, it's six bucks and why chance a $60,000 truck, you know? Well, you may know that Ford and Chrysler put their DEF filler cap right next to the diesel fuel filler cap on the outside. GM and their infinite wisdom, for whatever reason, put their filler cap inside the hood. And the problem is it just makes a mess. 
Now there's two ways you can do it. Either you can buy the two gallon jugs that have its own filler net like the Blue Duff or you can buy an aftermarket filler like this which will work just as well. And they do provide a little reservoir so if you overspill it it'll go into this little funnel kind of a thing. But you can take this in there and then this brings it out closer to the edge. So that's kind of a handy thing to have if you have a GM vehicle. But I'm going to use this two and a half gallon jug of DEF which has its own pull, has its own nozzle. And just like that.